what if Deku <clears throat> had Santa Claus powers or what if Deku was evil? Okay. I mean, what if Deku was the evil Santa? All right. So let's get the show on the road. We don't got much time, but before we get started, I have to do it. Not even the YouTube shit. Bro, when I did this initially, right, I thought it was going to be like a quick little easy some, some, some. You feel me? I thought it was going to be a quick little part here and there and then like done, right? I didn't know Santa Claus was so fucking overpowered, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I knew he was going to be mad strong, but like anytime I do it, I look it up on the, the little place that I go to and shit. And I, I, I thought it was going to be like he has a couple of abilities where I can nitpick them and then boom, bam, by the beat. Nah, bro. I had to go OD hard with it or whatever, right? I, I had to find the nigga's abilities. I had to tone them down and, and this, this and that. So I digress. Let's get into it. And I will have a phrase at the very end of the video, somewhere like not at the end end, but at like somewhere around there uh, for y'all. If y'all want to, you know, tell me to continue it on. And if I get enough people, we'll set the like goal to about 35 for me to consider it and 52 for a guaranteed continuation because I can't continue this on. But enough stalling. We're going to skip over a lot of filler stuff and just get to the meat and potatoes of a lot of stuff. So just tell me what y'all like. Let's get it. I, I don't have an intro. I just thought that'd be cool to do. So anyways, Deku's about like seven years old, right? Bro is trying hard to be a hero. Or at least he was thinking about being a hero. But then like, as he kept trying to do martial arts, as he kept trying to train and stuff like that, people just kept saying, nah, you're good, little nigga. Like, they kept doing, bro, mad zesty and shit, right? They was, like, not respecting bro and, like, putting a little respect on bro's name, which, I mean, I don't blame them. What, black people is, like, 13% of the population, okay? So, 20% of the population are quirkless, and then the other 80 isn't. People are already stupid as it is, so imagine how that would be. So, what ended up happening is Deku's on his infamous run where he's trying to do something, and then he sees something. Something he's never seen before. He sees a dude on his sleigh, but he crashes. He Deku's like, uh now when I want y'all to think of this Deku, I want y'all to think of bro like a little a little bit more of like a rough ruffian. Like he, he's not the normal deck. So we, we not making good time. So let's pick up the pace. So basically Deco sees bro and Santa Claus is struggling. He's like, ah, oh, crap. And he says something that's a very muffled. He's like, Jesus Christ, but with anger and venom in his eyes. That will be important potentially. Anyways, he gets up. He's like, damn, I'm low on strength. I need to heal, you know, I need to, you know, I need to do something. I need to get back to where I was, right? And then, so what ended up happening, right? But before you could do that, gang pull up, bro. His ops pull up on some type shit, right? They, it, 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 it's the Grinch, you know? The Grinch music just starts playing, bro. And then he hits that, that little, dun -dun. I don't know the Grinch music, but like imagine if I don't put it, okay? Because I might, I might not, I don't know. But that's gonna be playing for right now, right? And he does that. The Cookie Monster pulls up. The uh, t uh, Tinkle Bell pulls up. Jack Frost pulls up. Easter Bunny pulls up, bro. They are riding deep on, bro. They're like, yeah, gang. Mm hmm. Yeah, we caught you lagging. Him? Oh, I see. So they begin to box, right? The Grinch uh, is just like, he, <laughs> Grinch, his powers is looming to him. It's kind of right? Let me close His powers is looming to him as like, so bro's coming in. He, he exhales, I mean, intels and just starts letting, letting it go. Pew, 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 pew. Jack Frost immediately icicle or um, ice scythe and just starts charging that Santa Claus. Santa Claus start hitting this like OG boxer stuff. He wee, 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 wee. And Jack Frost is like, nah, bro, you ain't the only one that knows how to use cold, bro. I'll show you the real pain of coldness, bro. He's like, <clears throat> Santa 
Santa Claus is like bobbing and weaving as he's saying this too, right? He's like, bro, the cold isn't about it being cold. It's about the joy of being with your... He, he's going on on like this whole like philosophy, bro. Because he's just like, bro, come on. It's not about the cold. It's about what happens after the cold. The warmth that you get to feel with all your friends and the campfire. The hot choco, The hot chocolate. Before he can say the C word, Cookie Monster comes up behind him. Grabs him and just suplexes him down to the ground. Cookie. And bro, Santa Claus is like, bro, I'm not in the mood for this, bro. Because like, bro's leaking on some all for um all might type beat, right? And but he, it's not big body where he can't fight, but it, it's hindering him, right? And he's like, cookie, me like cookies, where's my cookies? And he's like, all right, bucko. He gets furious. Santa Claus is like, all right, bro, you keep taking this kid. So he starts piecing, bro, up. He meek, meek, meek. <laughs> And then bro was about to end, bro. He he was just pissed, right? He's not in the mood for this shit, right? So he's about to hit bro with the life ender, right? Tinkerbell comes through with her fairy magic and says, wind dust. <sighs> Blow Santa Claus away. This is on that my hero type effect too, bro. But like it's a higher scale, but we won't worry about that. So he poof, gets blown back, bro. He got Damn it. And before he can even react to Easter Bunny coming through, just throwing a whole bunch of eggs, but like at rapid speeds. He's so, he, ha, ha, ha. Santa Claus, he a big nigga, but he can move. He, hum, 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 hum. Just me, 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 me. And he's like, oh, come on. Easter Bunny talking heavy too. Oh, you think you're better than me, huh? All your, um, all your holidays are always gonna overshadow me, huh? Thanksgiving, huh? Halloween. What about me? What about me? He's yelling. He's screaming. He's shouting. He's angry. And Santa Claus is like, bro, wait. You realize something? Where's the Grinch at? Grinch is just. Mm. Just starts letting go and it's bullets, but it's like Looney Tune bullets. So take that as you will. And then he just sees that he's like, oh no, nah, we're not playing. Like, steam or like cold air starts to ex um, exit bro's mouth. And he's just like ice. No, he says holiday magic. Ice structure. And it's like a gingerbread man, right? And it like blocks, it blocks all those bullets or whatever. Santa Claus turns around. And so it's just like this epic clash of everybody. The cookie monster needs the cookies. So Santa Claus got beef with bro. Cause it's like, bro, why you keep taking my like meal replacement, bro? Like that, that's my little, my little feel. Tinkerbell is jealous because like bro doesn't need the fairy dust to fly because like he could technically do it without it, but he uses his reindeers. She don't like that. Easter Bunny, bro jealous because he's like, bro, why 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 you better than me, bro? What makes you so special, bro? I want to bring joy and happiness. And then Grinch, he just been up since day one. If, if we're being a hundred, he just he just woke up and said, nah. Plus, bro's heart is like Three, top, three um, sizes too small, okay? I digress. So the fight's just epic, bro. They're throwing quality, small quality hands. And Santa Claus is like, you know what? I'm done playing games with y'all. So he just, <clears throat> he's just started laying into them, bro. He, <clears throat> <clears throat> and just starts laying everybody out. He tired, he panted, he, <clears throat> but, 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 just like, okay, you're pretty strong. Santa Claus, you know, Father of Christmas, Saint Nicholas, like you're pretty strong, my guy. But what about my dog? So, I mean, what about you? As a big shadow appears, <laughs> flame goes everywhere. Santa Claus is immediately covered up in ice, bro. He trying to get right. He trying to make sure he's straight. He's like, what is going on, right? So. He looks up and he's like, yeah, say hello to my little puppy. And it's a fucking hellhound, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. It's got three different heads. Probably not, probably, I don't know. Just just go with it. And so, bro, is just breathing. Just, he said, oh no, 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 no. Christmas. And his hand starts to glow with like, like this weird, like holiday joy S like thing. And he just smacks the ground. And then the whole world knows Christmas. And it's the strongest move he has in his arsenal. But he can only use it once a year. <clears throat>
he becomes immediately stronger, immediately better. All his techniques are at max performance. Everyone on the planet feels joy, happiness, and all that type of stuff. So it can hinder people by a good considerable amount, right? So they all get up for round two and it's, 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 it's intense, right? Jack Frost pulls up on bro and they're going ice to ice, bro. He go, bim, 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 him, him. Matt, basically, imagine like two ice shoes going at it, right? He he kicks bro back, bro. And then he's just like, he start using some magic and just <clears throat> ice prison. <sighs> bro stuck for a minute, bro. Bro's furious and he's like, his ice isn't better than mine. But bro, bro stuck. He not moving for a little bit, okay? Twinker Bell comes through with her little fairy magic, bro. And she thinks she moving, bro. She, <laughs> meek, 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 meek. Good kids, right? Santa Claus is like, man, if you don't get that, we, <laughs> he just start blocking, bro. <laughs> she, she gets put down in the blunder. Bro says, you know what? I don't got time for this. I'm about to purify all y'all souls. Because he got joy. He got joy endorsement. Basically, he can make people feel Okay. So it wouldn't be too far of a stretch for him to say he can make people feel right and get their souls the redemption and love that they need. He about to do that. Cookie Monster comes in, sneaks him, takes a good. <clears throat> Let me just take that off you. Might taste anybody, bro. And Santa Claus is like, God damn, screaming, hollering, everything. He just grabs Yoke's bro up and just. <clears throat> <clears throat> Easter Bunny, Easter Bunny tried to do something, but Santa Claus wasn't playing. He said, you know what? I've been doing this one. Let me use my full power. He takes off like the top coat, bro. His injury heals up temporarily, and he just flexes on some Dragon Ball Z type beat and just fully lets all his power soar. He's just letting it all out. And then he just pulls up on bro, gut punches him, while he's down, he, I mean, he puts his whole leg up and just naked Muska picks Bo up and just says, be purified. And you just see, you could just see him like charging up energy and like bro's soul is just being completely purified and just, and then he says, you shall know peace. And he pulls up Vegeta and just says, Christmas fireworks and just, One down, three to go. All right. He takes a stance, right? And then he's like about to finish the others off. And then, and then Grinch is like, hey, buddy, where are we going? Him and his dog pull back up. So now Santa Claus got to deal with it. Fighting uh, the Grinch, bro, and dealing with all his toony effects. Because like, bro punches him. He just... <laughs> <laughs> It's literally like on some shit like that, right? So that's taking a long time, bro. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to have to really dig. He takes a stance while his back digs up, bro. And he's just like, all right. It's Christmas. So he can use all his high level moves like it's a, like it's a level one spell type. Beat, okay. So he just push, push, push. And then just ice domain expansion on some type shit. And just poof, makes like a giant block. And he glad he did. Because the dog was about to cut them. So it's a giant structure of ice. Imagine the Grinch and imagine the hell hell. It's like that, right? <clears throat> he does that. Now, he take care of business. Twinker Bell's trying to do some of her magic. It's not working. Bro just <clears throat> disamembled, bro. She just... <clears throat> all her like ligaments. So she can't move. And he was just like... No peace. The cookie monster pulls up, bro. And he's just like, <sniffs> and then he boom kills her. Not really kills her, but purifies her. But I'm gonna say kill because it sounds cooler. He kills her. He grabs the cookie monster and like he 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 oh um, he doesn't even purify, bro. I'm not gonna hold you because he's mad, right? Imagine you going around the fucking multiverse, making sure everybody has Christmas and shit, right? Making sure everybody gets the things that they want. And then all you ask for in return is some cookies and milk. And then you got some fucking blue monstrosity. Take that from you. 
So yeah, Santa Claus isn't having it. So he, boom, <laughs> how many times? <clears throat> Do you gotta take my cookies from me? The bro just screaming, cookies, cookies, cookies. He just, mm, mm, mm. And then you just you just hear cookies each hit. Cookie, 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 cookie. Santa Claus. <laughs> Blood all over. It's blue for some reason. And like maybe cookie crumbs. And he's just He gets up, looks over at Jack Frost, like, you gotta do it. They start throwing some hands, and Jack Frost is actually holding his own, even with Santa Claus having the Christmas bonus, Christmas boost type flow. So that's a big clash. Broford did forget about the lynch for a second. Lynch gets free, because this dog, he was heating it up for him. And Grinch is like, well, I guess I gotta do this. So he combines with his dog, right, on some like sorcery type beat and so he becomes the fire grinch bro and he's just like flames are going down everywhere he's just like he's like oh yeah this is what i like this is me right here when he looks over and he sees deku and he's like hmm so he charges <clears throat> and he like long legged in too, bro. It's not even like a me, 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 me. Nah, he him, him, him. Toon force. He's like, well, let's see what he'll do. Will he save you or finish his fight? And Dick was like, huh? He him barrels, barrel roll, back foot. He's like, oh. heat everywhere. It's like almost partially negated due to the fact that it's sub, it's a uh, Christmas and it's cold, but these heat, these flames don't go by the normal rules. So Deku's struggling. Anyway, Santa Claus sees this. He says, "You know what? You don't get you don't get salvation. Goodbye." And just eviscerates. I mean, just completely murk. Uh, Jack Frost with like everything he got like I mean he hits a he takes the widest thing bro combust and he's like nope I'm not done yet your soul is still mine <clears throat> this rage bro soul too not Hakai purified he goes over to uh, the Grinch and like helps Deku they have their clash or whatever Santa eventually gets to the point where he basically beats Bro out of his transformation. His dog is in the air. Santa Claus says, we not having this no more. He says, you know what? Fuck it, bro. I'm going to die anyway, so I might as well use all my power. So Bro just like charges up all his holiday fest. Not all of it, but like, a, like an all-out attack almost. A full power attack. And he does this, bro, and he's just like, hmm, Festus, rain down. Dog gone, and then he's just dealing with the lynch. And him and the lynch is like, just like old times, hey Santa. And he's like, yeah. They take their stance, they clash, and you just see like this epic Santa versus the Grinch little picture frame. It's, it's like wallpaper thingamabobs. And then 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 it cuts away. He's on the floor. The Grinch is on the floor. He picks bro up by the noggin. And says, I'll make sure to purify you at least. And he just starts purifying bro's soul. And like you could just see like all the negativity and bad stuff leaving him just more and 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 more. Until his heart is just go 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 And then the Grinch dies. After that happens, Santa Claus is exhausted. His his ability for Christmas is something that happens, but at the same time, it's not. His ability for the Christmas is something that is powered by him initially. But once it goes out, it's self-fulfilling. It goes on, okay? And... 
it doesn't matter if he's alive or not, it's gonna be something that's in effect. So Santa Claus is like, it's Christmas. He's bleeding, his wound just gushing out, bro. Rivers, he's just like, damn. He's sitting down, damn. I've been alive for so long. He's not really upset. It's more like a, just like a, damn, I'm really, damn, I'm damn. It's kind of like one of those, okay? And so he realizes that this is it. And he's like, wait, the boy. And then he like sees Deku like getting up like, Ugh, am I alive? What year is it? He's not, he's not pussy boy Deku. And he's like, he, 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 he senses in bro's heart, like bro's heart's been, you know, molded and changed. He wants to purify his heart, but he's taking too much damage. He, he's not strong enough to do that and get his powers away. So he could either purify bro's heart or give him the power of Christmas. But if he doesn't give him the power of Christmas, Christmas will cease to exist. So with a heavy heart, he reaches his hand out and grabs a deck and says to himself silently, <clears throat> oh, may I not be dooming this world. And then Santa Claus dies and Deku becomes the new Santa. Many years pass. Deku's about 11. For the first two years that he had these powers, he tried to be able. He, he tried to be patient with the society. He tried, but there was many side effects of him gaining these powers. Such as his infinite wisdom. <clears throat> it's almost like Salomon's wisdom, but something different, something greater, if you may. Due to him having all these abilities and power, Santa Claus lived for a long time and he has all the memories of Santa, to some extent, of course. He doesn't need to know everything like him and Mrs. Claus, but he knows most. He knows what it was like to be like Santa. He knows what it likes to cause joy around the world, but he also knows the cruelness, the pain, the suffering. And he, he grows. His anger, his hatred reaches a new level. And it peaks due to that reason alone. Because how can people be so mean to the weak? And that angered him. He tried to temper it. But people kept saying, who are you? You don't have a license to be a hero. Deku, furious, live it maybe. No, live it beyond living. How are you going to tell me I can't be a hero just because I don't have a silly license? Because if I wasn't here, this building of fire would have crashed down and killed thousands of people. If I wasn't here, that tsunami would have damaged buildings, taken jobs away. But since I don't have a measly license, his sanity snaps. It all is over. He gives up. He says, no, I have power. I'm a god. No, I'm not a god. I'm a mortal with powers. But who can stop me? And so he proceeds to going on this narrative. <clears throat> Throughout the years, he finds the people that suffer the most. And to his amusement, more or less, it's half of him. Half of him is Santa and the other half is himself. So it's like a weird, it's like a fusion in Dragon Ball Z. It's like a combination of the both, okay? So he starts to realize that how people with quirks treat us so poorly. But then he thinks, if the quirk isn't flashy, if the quirk isn't amazing, no one cares. So from the ages of eight and on, all the way up until 11, he starts accumulating an army, a following, if you can, okay? Because he does have some abilities that benefit from such, but why not save every single person that suffered just like he did and will become the new leaders of the world? He doesn't want to rule the world, but what other choice do we have? He's gained this power for a reason, and he will use it. And that's what he decided to do. So, twice, 
everyone that was the League of Villain, except Sugar Rocky, of course. All of these people become his followers. But he does catch the eye of someone. All for one. What you might be asking, why? It's simple. Someone that's conquering cities after cities with no problem, no resistance. The people are even thankful. All for one can't even fathom such things. Maybe he needs to take that over. Maybe he needs to do this. In these cities, every time he sends one of these low-level thugs to go cause a little trouble, it never works. And Deku is doing his thing, and all for one's very curious. How is a mere boy able to do such things? And he said, he thinks to himself, maybe I need to go pay Santa Claus a visit. <laughs> Meanwhile, Deku is talking to Twice. Twice is over his trauma. That's been over with. Deku ensured such weakness won't be tolerated. But don't think he's a dictator. No, 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 no. He's able, once he's conquered an area, a city, right? He's able to spread the Christmas spirit all throughout. It's almost like a utopia, if you may. He's able to make that domain a peaceful place. It's, if that makes any sense, okay? So each time he does this, everyone's willing, everyone accepts, boom, bam. And for the people that don't, they either get purified by default because positivity overcomes in this given you know, regard. His positivity purifies, and for those that can't be purified, they die. Simple. And this happens. So Deku's about to go to another city. And he sends out twice to go to door to door to every single person and every single thing. He says, hey, this is the domain we're taking over. Do you accept? Most people accept. Why, you ask? Think about it. I'm working a dead-end job. Misery, pain, suffering. And then someone from a city over asks, do you want peace and prosperity? And Deku gives everyone one day of this, what it's like like this. Productivity goes out the wazoo. Work is more efficient. Hunger, it's there, but it's non-existent. Food is plentiful. Deku made sure of it. The trees, they grow. The fruits, everything. Famine, non-existent. Money, it's still needed, but not necessary. Everything runs smoothly for a whole day. And then you ask somebody, do you... Do you want to continue? What do you think they would say? Exactly. If you said no, I want to drop kick you. So anyways, he does this. But before he, he completes it, rather yet, a week passes. And we have it to where everything's going good. Deku's making sure everything's going good. Him and Toga are talking about something. And then Deku goes out to the city. He goes down into the center. He's just like, this is nice. I like this. But then... He hears an eerie noise, not really. He hears an eerie noise and he just sees something floating. And for a second, he loses his composure. He tells everyone, run. He tells twice to activate emergency plan. Basically all it is is twice uses his quirk at like max power and gets all of the immediate people out of the surrounding area. And he also uses the twice, twice, twice copies to do the same thing of other people, like people that have like quirks, good for like helping groups of people. So like in like, I don't know, 10 seconds flat, theoretically speaking, he would be able to get like everyone out of there. Okay. So that's what happens. And then a giant explosion, but it doesn't stop there. It's like this, it's like an almighty push. But Deku at the last second off of instinct, was able to pull up like a nice little structure of ice to some extent that allowed um, most of the city not to be fucked up, but it's like the dead center. If you play My Hero Ultra Rumble, it's like imagine that center plaza. Imagine all of like that got destroyed, but like most of the other stuff is okay. Something like that. All Might pulls through. And this All Might didn't take an injury from all for one timeline different rules doesn't matter it's my universe 
So what ended up happening is they start throwing the quality smoke, right? And it's like all my all for one uses his abilities and powers and stuff, but it's kind of more like a martial arts, it's like fight or whatever, right? And he's using his abilities. Deku's trying his off hardest and like Toga compressing them. They're watching from a safe distance and they see this, right? So they're throwing hands. It's like me, 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 me. Good hands, right? And it's like a young buck fighting like an old head in an anime type shit, okay? But like you see like the skill gap, but like Deku has power, but it's like he's really debating if he should use all day as Christmas, right? That's the name, freestyle that one. Um, and he's debating if he should use it because like bro is strong and like for like the first few seconds before like he's like flared up his power, he was under intense pressure. Like we got not to remember if like, the dude didn't brick this part. All for one's might and presence is terrifying to the average person, okay? So like Deku had to like steal his mind or whatever. Bro is just like not dog walking him, but you can kind of see bro playing with him or whatever, right? And Deku's getting furiated, right? Because he's like, bro, why are you acting like I'm not a like he's like, bro, why are you like trolling me or whatever, right? Because he's just like very good. It seems like you're a lot stronger than I thought. I'm impressed, but still not enough to take on me. And Deku's like, he charges in. And this whole time, all for one was moving pretty cocky. And bro's just like, you're not gonna get the best of me, right? And he, <clears throat> and then like he winds, he, he, he fakes him out, then he winds one back. And then he just sees all for one just smile at him. And then his hand's about to come down. And in that split second, Deku realizes what he did. He acted cocky on purpose. That's his whole ploy. And then, but he also thinks to himself, Wait, maybe it wasn't all an act too. Maybe he is cocky, but he knows what he's doing. This is my justification to why he would lose, but I digress. And so Deku realizes he's dead. Like he's gonna have to do all day's Christmas. So in his left hand, he charges it. And he's like, bro, I'm gonna have to like take bro out. But like, I can at least affect the world even if I'm not in it. Like, like, like this is like his like trump card. He's about to use all of it, right? And he just realizes, and like for like the very briefest moment, he looks over to his friends and like Toga and them or whatever. I'll just say the League of Villain just to make it simple. So like all the people included except Kordagiri and Shigaraki. And he looks over and just says, I'm sorry. And that happens, right? And then, and but, but like in that split second, right? All my, all for one looks up and he's like, it seems like we have visitors or guests, whichever one you feel like he would say. His hand goes down, Deku looks over and he's like, ah, oh, shit. And then all you just see is blood. You see an arm fly. And then you just see Deku just. <clears throat> but he doesn't have no time to react, right? Because the special grade heroes pull up. Lynch, Cookie Monster, Fairy, and uh, the Easter Bunny. They all pull up, they're like, what's good, game? And he's just like, you got to be kidding me. Then he sees the Cookie Monster and like, so much rage and animosity just boils up and he just, I'll say Christmas spirit, cause that sounds cooler. And he just, <clears throat> he just like holds his, like he fixes his arm or whatever, right? But like, it doesn't come back. He just stops the bleeding. So, right, the Grinch pulls through and he says, uh, Jack Frost, you're with me. Easter Bunny, hold, hold our six and make sure no one gets fucked up. Cookie Monster, uh, uh, Cookie Monster and Tinkerbell, y'all on Santa. We gonna make this quick and fast. So Jack Frost and um, Grinch, they pull up on bro. And they're just like, all right, bro. We don't know who you are, and maybe we should have waited a second because it looked like you had it under control, but the only person that's killing Santa is me. He goes into his back pocket, I guess, and just pulls out like these like tiny rockets and just like, he, and like pops his, like, his thumbs out almost like it's like a cannon and like throws these in, right? And it's almost like he's loading his gun, right? He loads them up. And then Jack Frost just 
makes like a whole bunch of like ice or whatever in the surrounding area. And then he charges that all for one and all for one, just like, <clears throat> he's bobbing and weaving, bobbing and weaving. Meanwhile, with Deku, Deku's dealing with the, um, you know, fairy or whatever, and they just throwing hands, right? Because he's not saying that he's not trying to purify them. No, he's trying to kill them. Right? So they start throwing. The uh, a cookie monster comes out of animalistic, almost like, where's the cookie Santa? <clears throat> Beat, meat, meat, but they also look a lot more humanoid than they would if there was in their um, original form, okay? They took over someone without fully taking over someone. It's like the spirit or borrowed power. And so they start throwing hands, right? Meat, meat, meat. But he only got one hand, so he <clears throat> he's on his future Gohan uh, cosplay energy. He meat, 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 meat. Uh, Tinkerbell start throwing different types of magic, flame, ice, uh, when all sorts of fairy magic and Santa is not having it, Deku. And so he, mm, 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 he get out of my face. He shoots out energy wave, but I say it's the holiday spirit. He shoots that out. Mm, you're not on my level. Boom, 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 boom. Good hands, good hands, good hands. Uh, cookie, um, before he can get any finishing blows, eggs. They, they either hit or come close to hitting, so bro's gotta back up, and so it's taking the fight a lot longer than it should be. So Deku's like, all right, bro, he just, <clears throat> he just like powers up to like the max power he can like just utilize at the given second, because he is heavily injured, right? So he just <clears throat> hits Tinkerbell. They start doing some good hands. Cookie Monster's like, oh no, this is that Jutsu Kai jump right now, my boy. And so he just comes in, he <laughs> weaves, Hands on the ground, bro. Jumps, flips up, kicks, bro. Double kick, bro. Just me, 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 me. Slides. Uh, Tinkerbell gets hit with the meanest meat. And then he just, hum, hum. and then like he starts getting pressure. Like, they start pressuring, bro. So he's like, he's like, all right, bro. Ice. He makes an arm out of ice and just like starts throwing as much combo. So he's standing his ground for a little bit. And then he's like, all right, bro, I guess I'm gonna have to really lock into this magic type of shit, right? So he just locks in and he says water. And then just a gust of water hits Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell's like, you think this little, uh, just little sprinkle, I guess, is gonna do anything against me? He said, no, this one. And then immediately, lightning. And then she deals with that. She's fried. And then Cookie Monster's like, I need cookies. And he's like, bro, puts his whole, no, actually, he puts his frozen hand into, like, Cookie Monster as he tries to, like, eat it. And he's like, no. And just freezes, bro. And he's like, okay. He didn't kill them. He stole, he, like, knocked them out, basically, because, like, he's trying. And then he looks over at the Easter Bunny, and he's just like, I'm going to enjoy what I'm about to. And so he just starts charging. Heist, 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 heist. <clears throat> Easter Buddy's like, eh, gotcha. Because he was screaming, no, no, Santa, no, I can be cool. And he's like, gotcha. A giant egg is above him. And he's like, every day is Christmas. And then all for one yells out, my boy, I think you should say that. We'll have another visitor coming pretty soon. He stops and then just changes his approach and just looks up and says, absolute freeze. And just everything stops time. Everything stops moving. He grabs like he basically makes like an ice candy cane or some sort and just <laughs> slashes uh, the Easter button. And you got to know, Deku is very exhausted right now. OK, so he does that and he, he kills the Easter button. Walks over to the cookie monster and just says, I really don't like you. And just completely just freezes all his internal organs. And goes over to Tinkerbell, picks her up by the leg, and time is frozen. And he just is like, yeah. And then he like pushes her back. It just like makes a whole bunch of different like candy cane-esque like things, icicles everywhere. And just says, I'm gonna enjoy that. But just to make sure you're dead. He just like, Cuts off like all of her like ligaments, like so she can't move, walk, or run or anything, right? And he's just like, Yeah, that'll do. 
And then like he's limping as he's doing that and he just sees all for one just frozen, just coggling. He's like, Tch. he goes over to the lynch, but before he could do that, he sees a shadow and he looks up and he's like, oh, he sees the dog. So he's like, I don't have to deal with that. But before he could do that, he gets hit with the meanest right hook he's ever seen in his life. He, <laughs> bam, right? He, <laughs> he, uh, what hit me? And he's like, Jack Frost, bro, has entered the plane. He's like, oh, did you only think you were the only one that could freeze? So they start having a big fight. And once again, we got to keep the pace up because like we're almost done, but we're not. So he starts throwing some hands with Jack Frost, right? And the, the fight was amazing, okay? But we're not going to talk about it. We're just going to say it was amazing and keep it pushing. Anyways... They come down to the last part of the clash, right? Where it's like ice versus ice, right? But Deku, even though time is frozen, he taps into the power of friendship, but slightly different. It's friendship empowerment, right? So he taps into all the hopes and all the dreams of all the people that he's got on his shoulder, and he just digs, and he's just like, my ice is warmer than yours. And then just, Jack Frost is like, no, I'm absolute, I'm, I'm. He gets all, all for one out of the way. And then, time goes back. And then, the dog pulls up. And bro, he, he fuses, the Grinch fuses with him off, right? No question that, because he knows what just happened. He just couldn't move, right? And so, he does this, and then blue flames start to shoot out. And then him and All for One looks at each other and just like, let's get it. So they start like basically throwing hands with bro. And like, it's like this mean combination of like a student with master S life flow. They are throwing some good hands, but long story short, after some time, the Grinch is on the floor leaking, looking up at him with bloodshot eyes. You are a monster. I hate everything about you. His heart goes from three sizes. It's normal, basically, to just. Deku looks at him and says, it doesn't matter. You can hate me all you want, but I'm better. And then the Grinch is gone. All for once, like, hmm, I was thinking about potentially killing you but it seems like the power you possess is something of not of this world rather yet i'll teach you everything i know now the reason i personally believe that all for one would do this in this hypothetical scenario was for the sole fact that he sees that deku could do what he couldn't he sees that deku can actually take over the world and he also did try to take deku's power and realize he couldn't so that's also another thing too okay so that happens then All Might pulls up. And now with All Might here, the cameras, everyone's watching, everyone's seeing this, and and everyone's like confused. And all the people that are under deck who, you know, you know, support, they're like, oh crap, what is he gonna do? So him and so they start throwing quality smoke, good hands, let the good hand man's commence, right? So all for one is fighting for dear life. And he can't keep up pace. And so Deku comes through and just, bam! So he starts fighting all night. I'm gonna save a lot of the plot point and just get to the. Bro realizes how Bro is strong, but like he doesn't have any martial arts power. He just overpowers his enemies. Like he's just really unnecessarily strong for no reason. Two, he can see why All For One would have lost to this dude if this was like a different story or something because Bro just strong. And punch is really hard, plus all for one's way overconfident sometimes. But like, could you really blame him for living about 300-ish years and always, always been on top? Anyways, so Deku starts fighting and Deku's getting milliwop, but he's also throwing good hands. But it's like this constant fight. He's using all his tricks in his bag. He's using hope, hope, uh endorsement basically giving all might a lot of hope right the ideal though is with all this hope if he rings it up to max power at some point he'll feel despair 
And that's what happens. He starts feeling despair and Deku takes full of that, throwing and welling on every possible hit, but All Might is still All Might. So he just gets rocked, bro. Mm. He's just like, damn. He can't use pleasure endorsement because it doesn't work with certain people. And it's, and I'm really only using it for females for obvious reasons. So he does this and and he's just fighting. He's fighting, he's fighting, he's fighting and fighting, but then He's just like, all right, I get it now. He takes that Luffy year five stance, pops it out, and then he says, every day is Christmas. The fight commences, now it's on Eva playing pitch. But All Might stole All Might, so this fight is like woefully, he's woefully under pair, but he has this. Now you may be wondering, why is he able to fight him, but not All For One? All For One knows how to get into people's heads. All Might is a good guy. He's not trying to get in your head. He's trying to beat you justice, blah, blah, blah. Good guy. So Deku eventually gets his grits right, gets his stuff right, and he he wins, but he doesn't kill All Might. He gets all that energy all at once, bro. Gets all his followings and all his people together and just sends out the meanest gust of, like, power and energy. He's at his wit's end. Like, he's at his limit, right? And he's just saying, I will not let you destroy the future society I plan to build. Boom, All Might's gone for right now. All for One is about to go over to Deku, but everyone from the League of Villain pulls up, right? Now, you can see that they're all trying to like hold in their lunch or stomach, right? So what ended up happening is like Dobby's like right at bro's face with flamed hands, compresses with his hand out, Toga's with a knife looking at him all like animalistic, twice is there. And and at the, the whole gang is there, even some of like the people or whatever. Um like you leave him alone, you know, you need to leave energy and shit. So all all for one's like no need to worry. I'm here to help. Time skip. Now we're entering around when Panning would have happened, but things are different. Deku's taken over a good chunk of the Japan by like a Pacifico map. Now this is where we get into mainly the end of the story, right? <clears throat> we see like, you know, past like times of like, we're just seeing all of this in a combination, right? He's he's fighting different villains and stuff like that. He saves, uh, he stops Nine, uh, he, he recruits the two kids, he, um, he deals with, I'll say he deals with, uh, what's his name? Um, Overhaul, saves Ares. Ares has been saved a lot sooner than she would have been saved from Cannon. All for one kills Shigaraki or Deku does, it doesn't matter, he's not alive no more because all for one got Overhaul's quirk, made his body right. And so now he doesn't have to worry about finding another successor, but he did because he's going to give all this to Deku because once a Deku has his power, it's over, right? And he's just going to be there as a mentor, like no power, no nothing, right? He'll still have like some emergency shit just in case he's got a fight, but nothing crazy, okay? So Deku is just taking out villains left and right, but we'll at least go over like the more important ones, right? Um, he, he takes down Endeavor, right? But he doesn't take down Endeavor normally, right? He just shows like the flaws in these heroes. These heroes don't know martial arts. They don't know nothing. So he fights Endeavor, but he doesn't just beat Endeavor, right? He beats Endeavor with martial arts, but also with flames and showing him just like, bro, you're not better than not him. And he only does it with the Dobby's flames because he borrowed that from Dobby, right? And so he just, <sighs> After you, like, you just see a combination of, like, them fighting, and then you see some good hits, and then you just see, like, Endeavor down on the ground, just like, and, and then he's like, yes, guess where I got these slaves from? Endeavor's like, no, you, you couldn't mean yes. He says, so you're, I don't know what bros got these actual names, I don't remember. But he's like, you killed my son. He, he tries to do like his prominence burn, and then Deku just walks out of it, like with his like you know Santa outfit dressed, and he's just like, yeah, I did not. But that's enough of that. He says like he grabs bro by the noggin and just takes his power. He's like, you know something? That's like bro's falling to. You know something? You treated Quirky so bad. You so ruthless. So I have a question for you. What's it like to see this world burn? 
and beat the Warriors. And then that's how that's how Endeavor is out of the story. And then he takes over, he like fights other like heroes we've seen, but like not that important. You just see like this, just him just doing this and like Dobby and Toga and all these people coming through helping him out with it. So that happens. Then we have it to where um, we get into some of the more bigger things, right? Um, and um, Eraserhead comes through. He's coming through with like some of the other like top heroes, All Might, Night Eye, and um, Mirio come through. They trying to fight. The fight's epic for a few seconds. Dexter's just like, I don't have time to play. I'm on a time zone. So they all. So he just starts putting in work on it. First, he kills Night Eye. Instantly. There's no need to wait. He just sends like a, a nice amount of ice structures over those ranges. Bro is pretty much done. But before he dies, he's like, let me take that off. And he's like, let me hold that. Right? Don't want you to scream. That's good. Any of the female heroes, you just use pleasure and bullets and bullets. They don't know how to act. The, uh, the rabbit hero, he's not. He, she can't control herself. She's a rabbit. And if you know anything about rabbits, she's a rabbit. So he just throws her in the like, Goodbye. And the dragon one, goodbye. Even all of YA, bro. Get their female quarter. That's going to be for like another part later. So it's not like something y'all need to worry about right now. And so that most of 1A is gone. Most of the uh, females in 1A and 1B, they're gone. They're with Deku now. They don't have a choice. And all of the other people just gone. Bakugo pulls up, Todoroki and all of them. And he's just like, y'all are too weak. Bakugo's just like, I can't believe you. Blah, blah, blah. He's talking his trash, but like Deku's like, you know what? He grabs bro up, right? And he's like, I'm not gonna let you take my court. And then he's like, you don't have a choice. And he's already in bro's place. I'm stronger, faster, I'm just better. And he takes bro court. And he's like, I want you to be first. Oh, don't worry. I'll make sure. He smacks him. I'll make sure you get to live a long work this life. That quirk allows you to live a lot longer than you do. You change, it's some scientific type shit, like you change the air into like energy or something. It's not something you use for an actual power, and even if you could, you can't stop them. So even at long well, after I'm gone, you'll still be Isn't that amazing? And then he walks off and just basically kills and murders everyone else or other things depending on what you So after he does all this and take care of all this, he ends up fighting the two remaining people, All Might and Muriel. They actually put on their hands for a little bit, and Muriel's actually kind of keeping pace with him. He tried to throw him down a big square of ice and you know, pain and misery, but that didn't work. So they're on like, top of like this big giant ice structure, and he's just like, Look, y'all are the last resistance. Y'all can either join me or give up. Which one do you want? And then they're just like, we'll never give up. We have the spirit of heroes, blah, blah, blah. He throws hands with All Might. Basically, All Might goes down into like his less muscle form because the last fight he had with Deku. Mirio's actually throwing hands and Deku realized this is actually gonna be kind of hard to deal with because like he can't land a solid hit, but Bro can hit him, he can't hit him. So like, and on top of that with one for all, so he's gotta get a little creative. So he pulls out Harry out of Corey Gear's portal. Or, or it's his, I don't know if it's his or not. I, I didn't really make that detail. It's not important. He pulls him out, Harry pops out. And she's just like, yes. She's like, yes, Deku. And he's like, hey, you remember her, right? He's like, Deku acts as if he's gonna use her as a shield, right? So he comes through, I'll save you, Harry. And then like, he like picks Harry up and just like uses her like as a shield. And like, Ariel has to stop because like the way she's like plate, if he like phases through or unfazes through at the long time, he's screwed, he's screwed, right? And then Deku starts talking about her, he's a million, but you won't say these people, but what about the worthless people? You forget all about them. Y'all always forget about us. Blah, 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 just starts getting in Bro's head, this, this, and that. And then a knight comes out of nowhere. You just hear it. And then he grabs it. And, and then Muriel looks and he's like, keep your eye on your opponent. And then he turns around, faces, 
gets out of there. And you're just like, and then, and then I'll, I'll say he doesn't phase around Deku, but I'll just say, cause like, I want to make this point cause it's cool. I'll say he like phases out of the way, but he's still like Deku's behind right here. And he's right here. And then he just like throws the knife at him. And then he just phases. <laughs> Did you think such a knife would work? Now, where was I? I lost my grip there for a second. And it's like, you've lost. No. I knew he was going to face through that night. You've lost. And he's like, what? And he's just like, I've won. And then you just see Stan. And then bro just, and he can't move. He's like, go ahead and activate your quirk. But I already did it. Your blood type is the one that keeps, keeps going the longest. I, I don't know if that's true or not. And he's just like, you've lost. And then Mario's just like, a little million is just like, buds. And then Toga comes through and makes sure we have got a good amount of this power. He's just like, and so basically all this is, summing it up, right, is it's like, he's talking about all his righteous hero-ness and all this type of stuff and how you want to save all these people, but you've never bothered to check up on the weakest, the corpus, the people that really have no power. You only thought about saving people in immediate physical danger. What about the psychological? You just see like this crazed sense of looking at Deku and just like tell me, man, you don't have an answer, do you? And you still got hope in your eyes. Don't worry. We'll fix that. He just takes bros before he gets his This would be nice. <laughs> and you just have the man look like a psychotic breakdown laugh as like the break. And then he just gets bro up and says, don't worry, some of my new colleagues really are having fun with you. Throws them through a portal. And then we have another time skip, even though I said he took, I don't know if I did or not, but anyways, we have another time skip of like not even years, but just like a few months or something like that. And Deku eventually just takes over Japan. And like, that's the whole thing, right? It's like, you see him doing this. He's fighting like the liberation people. You see him like take down hawks. It's not even stated. It's just like implied because of the feathers and stuff. And he does all of this. Bro. He's just like one shot at people. And just taking troops left and right. And you see like some minor resistance from different people, but they're all, no one can stand into them. And then you just see him like at the pinnacle, like at a peak, it kind of like thing. And he's looking down and, he's like, yeah. and then all the all for one is just there next to him, right? Saying, I can't believe you did it. You did what I couldn't. And he's like, I, I know, but I have to thank you. And then he, he does like this, like, you know, because it's kind of like a student, master, father, son relation that's like me. But then when he does this, it shows that he's by himself. Then he just sits there. He's thinking about all his victories and all his fights, but then he laughs. Cause there's still people he gotta fight. He got he got Japan, but what about the rest of the world? He needs to take care of them. So he sets out on that journey, uh, not necessarily. He has to fight someone, someone stronger than all that. New order. So as he stands in front of this like mountain and he just sees helicopters coming, they're all coming in, bro. And he just immediately eviscerates. New order flies down, basically brings these people back with a new order. Allowing like the last three people that just died right in front of her eye to come back or something, plops down, takes them out of the way, and then proceeds to look at Deku. You're a villain, and your tear ends here. And he's like, I've heard that line too many times. But let me show you my new order. And then he just has a manic look. And that's where we end this one shot. Deku took over Japan. I hope y'all like this new t new take on what ifs. Um, if y'all do, let me know. Um, the phrase that I'm gonna give y'all is um, Santa Claus will always win. That one will show me you made it all the way to the end of the video, and also show me that you like the video, and um, give me any suggestions. Um, 
Let me know if I should continue this. And I'm thinking on my next my hero what if while I'm working on my other Dragon Ball Z what ifs. What if Krillin trains? I'm like, I'm gonna do it better. Insert coin to continue. Will you continue it here? Or will you stop? 50 likes. Goodbye.